Welcome back guys, it's Vengeance Hero, and you are joining me for a little something something. This is Silent Hill, the short message, and uh, this was announced at the State of Play as a completely free to play game by Konami. Um, apparently it is only a couple of hours long, hence why it is free. Um, and getting a little bit of mixed reviews. Some people say that it's amazing. Some people think the uh, dialogue or the storytelling is pretty terrible. But uh, we're going to give it a shot and see uh, what it is like. Uh, so we're going to invert that. Uh, other than that, looks like it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we've got access to a smartphone. Uh, there's no escape only. Okay, so there's no attack buttons. So I'm guessing this is going to be um, mostly a walking simulator with horror elements. And um, just so you guys are aware, as you can see up on the screen, um, the video game does depict uh, potentially some, um, some violence I think they say images of suicide or self-harm. So if that is something that bothers you, probably not the best uh, gameplay video to watch of mine. So maybe just skip to something else. And um, as you can see, a couple of ways that you can reach out if you are thinking of self-harm. So without further ado, we're going to jump right in. Connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. I want to be strong on my own, without a group. If there were only someone who would understand that to adult me. I think already looks pretty incredible. Swapping from kind of like a cinematic to straight to already that's bugging me. Nobody tucks their hair under their glasses. Oh my god, okay. It's gonna be creepy first person. Maya, I want to show you something. Can you come to the villa? Oh, yeah. Maya told me to come here. This model. Is it this building? Welcome to the city of the Plan to rebuild Kentstad. An overview. Kentstad, a town with a long history, has a thriving border stronghold. In recent years, those in their 20s have begun leaving on the mass, causing concern. The aim of this wide scale project is to rebuild Kentstad and restore it to its former glory with the help of the Chinese of Chinese investment firms. Theme is revitalization. The abandoned properties developed by Japanese corporations in 2008 have long been a problem, but by repurposing them, we can cut costs substantially and better realize our vision for a new kit stop. Wow. So this place didn't always suck. Our parents dreamed of this? Plans to rebuild Kentstadt have suffered yet another major setback in an 
as instability caused by the COVID-19 pandemic has reduced interest from foreign investors. Previous plans to jumpstart the town failed to materialize owing to the monetary instability caused by the 2008 global financial crisis, which forced the plan to involve Japanese corporations and financial institutions to be reconsidered. Two attempts to rebuild, two failures due to unfortunate external circumstances. Hettenstad has struggled to bounce back with increased unemployment. The city council is considering ways to revitalize the economy by drawing skilled experts to the area, but as of yet, no effective measures have been implemented. Everyone's losing their futures. That's all adults are. A slave to the system. Yo. It's fucking dark. Where are you, Maya? Why would she invite us to this creepy ass building and why the fuck were we sleeping on a dirty ass mattress? September 28, 2021, notice of provisional meeting to all villa residents. We have received many inquiries about the management of this building after the recent news. We would therefore like to hold a meeting to explain our policies more formally. We hope you can find the time to attend. Okay. He's pretty sick. Maya? Did Maya do this? CB. Cherry Blossom. It's Maya's signature. She's amazing. This city is a blank canvas, begging for us to paint it with our hopes and dreams. I want to show the hidden side of girls, their impulses, their urges. Jesus, it looks real. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. Is it real? Is that actual real video? Or is that fucking CG? Because that's fucking nuts. How could I ever be proud of myself? Start by untucking the hair from under your glasses. You look like a fucking nerd. For a graffiti artist, spray paint, and a blank wall are all you need. Kit and the walls of a particular apartment building are the canvas for several artists with a new piece showing up every day. Social media star CB features her work here. Given her passion for flowers, it's only fitting that her name is CB, which is short for Cherry Blossom. CB's art continues to captivate the hearts of the young, so we reach out to her for comment. Keeping her eyes fixed on her new piece, she had this to say. All I'm doing is showing what these girls feel on the inside and can't show on the outside. If any of them connect with a girl in the art, it's probably because they're experiencing the same thing. CB added that the flowers she depicts on the young girls she paints bloom out of the scars they bear. Flowers represent the girls overcoming past traumas, or at least their desires to do so. Everyone can see how talented she is. Fucking baby I could crying? be more different. Oh, what the fuck, man. Oh. What's up? Oh god. Who's there? Emily, are you alright? <clears throat> you asleep? You still asleep? Sorry if I woke you up. Did see you at your job yesterday. Still not feeling good. You taking your meds? Sorry for the late reply. I fell asleep. God damn, we're blowing up her phone. Don't worry about it. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I can actually kind of get some rest now. Didn't mean to scare you or anything. Seriously, don't worry about it. All's good now. I'm still a little tired, but I'm gonna get up soon. <sighs> That's a relief. Never sit at any 
anything nice. Child abuse, neglect, and Kedenstad. A recent statistical survey has shown the rate of child abuse in Kedenstad last year was nearly double that of the average in other developed nations in Europe. The recent economic strife and its resulting poverty are thought to be the cause. <sighs> My mom loved me. Sure she did. bit of a maze here. Antidepressants. I've taken enough medication. There's no run button. Can't, can't move any faster. Seems pretty apparent that um, our character has uh, a bad relationship with her mother, and it's resulted in her being on meds and possibly trying to hurt herself. What about you, Anita? What? You didn't look so hot the other day. I'm fine. You don't have to worry about. Obviously, I'm gonna I'm taking my meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? It doesn't really do much, to be honest. Talking to adults doesn't help. Some of our classmates were hospitalized. You don't have to do this alone. I know. I'll let you know if I need anything. And those guys deserved it. Oof. They feel bad, you know, all of them. Why were they hospitalized? Maya? Wait a minute. Oh, God! Okay, so I'm not sure why it... It's kind of a cool way to restart your game after you die. What the hell just happened? Um, Uh, after I went through the door, like flipped me back around. I was facing the wrong way. It felt like I was going the wrong way. Oh my god! It felt like it turned me around. It was weird. Am I safe? Where did it even go? What the fuck was that thing? I want to show you something. Oh, okay. You here? I'm in the studio. Maya? There's a monster here. You okay? Teenage suicides continue at infamous building. A rundown apartment complex in Kentonstad has become known for its suicides, with teenage girls jumping from its roof practically every year. Despite repeat events, the building 
abandoned ever since the development management company declared bankruptcy remains easily accessible. Young and unemployed are not deterred by the building's grim reputation, though, with many continuing to enter it and young graffiti artists using it for their work. Meanwhile, local residents' security concerns continue to grow. Please. Not Maya, too. She has been acting weird lately. Cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. With most flowers, the rot sets in, then they fall. That's the price of new life. Not cherry blossoms, though. They bloom beautiful, they fall beautiful. That's how I want my life to be. Why is, Why is she not why? replying? Oh, I wonder. Come on. I have to find her. Inside the fog of social media, solitude and anxiety in teenagers, all of the teenagers interviewed said they were ashamed of the risky selfies they posted online. They also claimed they experienced anxiety over not getting any likes on such photos. What all of the kids had in common was extremely low self-esteem. The greater their anxiety and lower their confidence, the more pronounced their reactions were to positive attention. The sense of fulfillment they experienced after getting a like online is difficult for adults to comprehend. Furthermore, even when acknowledged, the teenagers still could not view their actions positively and quickly reverted to despair, seeking more attention to fill the void. Teenagers who are not yet psychologically mature run the risk of experiencing this toxic quest for validation. Shit, it's just based on real life. By the way, thought any more about college? I can't do it. You don't have to decide right away. So, once you're at college, are you not coming back here? No way, I'll come back occasionally. My parents would give me shit if I didn't come home for breaks. But yeah, just give college some more thought, okay? I told you I can't go, it's not for me. Studying isn't my thing. I told you I would help you. It's fine, I can't do anything. Don't know what I'd do if I got in. That's not true. You're way too hard on yourself. Be proud of who you are. Wait, what about those drawings you showed me? You could audit an art class. You could lead to a job. I'm not Maya, okay? Oof. Emily doesn't get it. Gotcha. So you don't really like this place. I get it. Should People be playing in this, this in town Japanese, probably. See graffiti as nothing but trashy doodles. And my classmates talk.
talk about me. It might not be a bad idea to leave town, actually. The great thing about graffiti is, the world's your canvas. And as long as I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. There's no way out. Hey, this is sketchy. Is Maya even real? Maya, are you here? Is this your studio? Are these Maya's sketches? These aren't even finished. And they look this good. They seem happy. A new life. So full of life. Are you here? Maya? Where are you? This place is dangerous. We need to go. Maya, respond, please. Why won't she reply? Why don't you fucking call her? Where are you? Am I going crazy? Bitch crazy. jump from the villa why did she have to die Maya's yes Maya's dead. dead I figured she was either dead or just has never existed Maya's really dead uh, how how could I forget that are you all right Anita hello hello Who's this? Find it. Who? Oh, 
Oh my god. Okay. Oh my lord. Oh fuck me. Holy fuck. That shit's pretty intense. Fuck me. Oh, here we are on the roof. Happening here. Back at the villa? That circle is much bigger. But why didn't I die? You find it? Find what? Can't leave till you find it. Is this really you, Maya? Can't leave till you find it. Maya's dead. You're not her. Can't leave till you find it. Who the fuck is this? Can't leave till you find it. Tell me. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Back. Things have changed. Oh no. A bit. My battery. Of course. Of course. Now we have no light. like I need to turn up the brightness because I can't actually see anything.
the flashlight up? Uh, what? Who would do this? Oh my god, I can't fucking see anything. It's like literally pitch black. Children who turn trauma into tales, solitude and anxiety in teenagers, part two. All of the teenagers surveyed suffered from deep psychological issues caused by past experiences. And interestingly, all of them conceptualized those issues as grandiose stories of sorts. One girl placed herself in the role of a tragic hero, convincing herself she was at the mercy of an abusive stepmother and that her loving real mother existed somewhere, elsewhere. Another girl viewed her childhood scars as stigmata, believing those scars would bloom into beautiful cherry blossoms. These convenient tales in the face of extreme adversity are born out of a deep desire to escape unbearable pain and self-hatred. The greater the trauma, the more grandiose the story surrounding it. So, it sounds like we are the actual patients here in question. Wait, it's back on? Oh, thank God. How could somebody do this? <sighs> Some people really have nothing better to do. Wait. I bet it was these guys. Oh my god. Jesus fuck. Some scary ass bullshit right there. Yo, what's up, homie? Okay. I'm uh, just gonna take a step outside for a minute. You don't mind. What's this? It's gone. Thing's gone. A giant hole in the ground. Okay. Good enough to get out of bed. Sorry for being a bad friend. So, is Maya really dead? Why are you asking that? Please tell me. I still can't believe she's gone either. Wish it was a lie. She seemed perfectly fine before it happened. So Maya really is dead then, yeah? Anita, are you okay? You getting enough sleep? Kinda. I'm taking some really good meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? That doesn't really do much, to be honest. You're so good to me, but you're leaving me behind. I really didn't tell you anything? No, all she talked about was a book she read recently. Still, I feel guilty for what happened. Even if she didn't tell me anything, I should have known something was up. Did Maya really not say anything? Like, at all? So what'd you think of the book? The author killed themselves when they were young. Something beautiful from something tragic. It's kind of enchanting, isn't it? I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Anyway, I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter. You really are shy, aren't you? I actually kind of like that, though. 
you write in a really flowery and passionate way. I can't wait to read more. This is all your fault. Everything. You're a heartless bitch. You stole my only friend, my place in this world, all of it. And you don't even care. I'm invisible to you. I fucking hate you. You're not talented. You're not special. You call those shit stains art. You came out of nowhere and ruined everything. Fuck off. Fuck off. Get the fuck out of my life, you piece of shit freak. Hmm. Interesting. So we had a bit of a falling out. Deutschland Medical University School of Medicine Orientation. Dear incoming freshman, welcome to Deutschland Medical University. Founded in 1709, DMU is one of Europe's oldest and most revered institutions. Its state-of-the-art research facilities eagerly await your arrival. Orienta orientation details, September 24, 2021. Wear School of Medicine Central Lecture Hall. Please wear a mask when attending. This is for the college Amelie wants to go to. Hey, Anita, you got a minute to talk? Sure, what's up? You seemed kind of out of it before. If something's bothering you, you can let me know. Thanks, but I'm fine. Sorry to bring it up, don't want to pry. Nah, it's okay, I don't mind. Hey, we should go shopping together sometime. I haven't left my house in what feels like forever. Plus, my brother's coming here. Oh, right, you okay? Yeah, just gonna try to avoid him as much as possible. So shopping, yeah? We can find you something cute. Nah, I'm good, I'm not a fan of crowds. And nothing looks cute on me anyway. Stop talking like that, you're way too hard on yourself. You've got the looks, you just need to find the right outfit. Too hard on myself, huh? Amelie's the only one who thinks that. Ooh. December 23rd, 2020. I haven't been able to study since my brother came back for Christmas break. He's nice and doesn't interrupt my studies or anything, but I can't stand him staring at me. I know he's probably just messing with me back then, but I've been scared of him ever since. It made me hate any guy looking at me. I can't believe other girls walk around school showing so much skin. February 21, 2021. I think I'm finally finding my study group. My test scores are really good. I'm worried about how much my parents were fighting recently, though. They were yelling at each other again today. I asked mom why, but she wouldn't say. May 11, 2021. This is it. Test day tomorrow. Mom told me I should be proud of myself since I've worked so hard, so I'm feeling great. She's not my real mom, but I know she loves me. I love her. Mom, I'm going to ace this test tomorrow. Seventeen, twenty, twenty. I'm finally focused on my studies, so I think I might pull an all-nighter. It won't be good for my skin. I can just hear people calling me troll and nerd, but I don't care. I have to make it to college in the city. Mom and Dad are counting on me to do well. I'll make them proud by getting into my first choice. All right, time to hit the books till morning. November 9, 2020. Dad was talking today about how there was a plan to rebuild the town. They were going to use a bunch of funding from China to turn the town into something better, but everything got cancelled due to COVID. Sure, it would have been nice if it had gone through, but I just couldn't see it happen of things have worked out. Not in this place. It hasn't been special since I was little. There's nothing to do. The buildings are ancient. It's a dump. My future isn't here. It's in the city where college life is waiting for me. Everything's riding on my entrance exam next year. I have to get out before my brother comes back. Okay, so her brother is probably a fucking creep. August 24, 2021. I got some materials from my first choice in the mail today. I'm going to be a college freshman. I'm so, so happy. I still can't believe it. Mom, Dad, I'm going to study my ass off and be the best daughter ever. Thank you so much for everything. September 22, 2021. Mom and Dad are yelling at each other. They're talking about bankruptcy. Wasn't everything supposed to work out even without that rebuilding plan? So this means they're out of money, right? Does this mean I can't go to college? All that hard work was for nothing? No way. Don't leave me, Mom. I can't stay here. I can't be stuck here with my brother. 
September 23rd, 2021. Mom just left. She told me to get out of the way. I have to get out of here. I want to disappear. But where would I go? This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. Amelie hated the way her brother looked at her. I bet she wants to leave to get away from all that. Young student found dead possible suicide September 25th, 2021. At around 10 a.m. on the 24th, a local resident reported seeing an 18-year-old female high school student fall from the roof of the Kedstock apartment building. The girl was rushed to the hospital but was pronounced dead two hours later. According to school staff, the girl was distraught over not being able to attend college due to troubles at home. No note or diary was found, but police still believe her death may be a suicide. Amelie's not like this, though. Right? I'm wondering if she even fucking exists. Sounds like our life. That's the trash room. Which way we're supposed to be going? Okay, this way. Oof. Some bitch threw her fucking shoe at me? What the fuck, man? Go away! Bro, who the fuck does this? <laughs> fuck out of my way, bitches. Same person? Could be the same person with... Okay, this visual effect they're using is pretty fucking cool. God, they use a C word? Sheesh. So sure there is a Maya. Oh my god, here we go. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to be going. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm gonna fucking die right now.
Oh my god. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Can I go straight through this door? Yep, I can. Let's see shit though. Oh my lord. Fuck me. me. Shit's fucking intense. Oh my god. Not again. Not again. What did I do to deserve this? Find it. Find what? Find it. Just tell me what I'm looking for. Find it. Oh, what the fuck am I supposed to find? This bitch. You want me to read this one? Stop. Pregnancy test positive. Oof. The girl in this picture is Amelie. This is new. Okay, January 31st. I haven't really been in a good mood since this morning. I tried to lose myself in my graffiti, but I wasn't feeling it. Maybe it's because Mom and I argued this morning. Probably not. We've clashed before. I've known for a long time we value different things. Is it because my classmates teased me? I doubt it. They don't know me. They're just taking their issues out on someone. It's got to be because I lost that special person and the hope he gave me, right? Why do I feel like this? I've never felt like this before. This guy looks familiar. They're hurt. Where are you going? Yeah, that's right. Amelie. Hmm? What's that? Oh! You like what you see? Come closer then. Wait a sec. You two are from my class. Those glasses look good on you. Uh, sorry, she's so cute. I couldn't help myself. Feel free to stop by any time. You're always welcome. <laughs> what the fuck? Maya only ever cared about Amelie. She didn't see me. I was invisible to her. Fucked up her artwork? Not cool, man. The library. So, I'm back at school. There's no beauty in any of this. I 
instructions in a letter. Read it when you get home, okay? Kettenstad, the town cursed by a witch. Malicious magic to blame for city slump. Kettenstad continues to see a rapid decline in its population. The birth rate is at a mere 0. 0.7, less than half of the German nation average 1.6. Miscarriages are also at 31%, more than double the average 15%. The economy is in shambles, and the once booming industrial city has failed to revitalize itself twice. A number of researchers studying the occult point to a witch as the cause of the economic downturn in Kettenstad. Which was a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance to influence economic development in the town in the 1930s. Researchers believe she was hunted down and killed. Before her death, she is believed to have placed a curse on the town, stimming its growth. So, it is a curse. But, why me? Why do I have to be cursed like this? Find it. Bitch, tell me something else. Is this your curse? Find it. Find what in a place like this? What? You don't know? Modern eating habits. Find the book eventually. Maybe? We actually have to be looking at it. The witch Hunt of Kettenstadt. In 1930 in Germany, the town of Kettenstadt attracted wealthy entrepreneurs and enjoyed a period of economic prosperity. Behind that success, though, was supposedly a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance and mystical powers to guide the entrepreneurs. She would come to be known as the Witch of the Far East and would be greatly respected by the German people. However, in 1947, the entrepreneurs suffered great losses. A large fire spread throughout their industrial parks, losing them the majority of their factories. The witch of the Far East, who was hospitalized, jumped off the roof of the hospital and killed herself. The witch had been diagnosed with an unknown illness, and many believe the fires pushed her over the edge. Some citizens, however, claim that a witch hunt was to blame. They argue the witch's rise to prominence angered the mayor's party, who used the chaos from the fires as a cover for murder. There's no evidence to support this claim, and many now view it as a mere conspiracy theory, but the mayor's party did manage to regain influence in the town after the witch's death. Since then, citizens have started to believe any stroke of bad luck is a result of the witch's curse. A witch's curse? Is that why I saw what I did before? Shiny. So we got that book. Can't leave until we find this other book, I guess.
fucking 52 copies of the same book. There you are. Like there's space for a book here. Wait, I think I know these. Walker. Anita, you left me on red, so I was worried. Sorry, I was just thinking about Maya. I'm not sure if you know this, but Maya was bullied at school. I know. But she said she was okay. I figured I should have pushed the issue, and it was too late. Why didn't she say anything before she died? I wish she had talked to me. Maybe she didn't see me as a friend. That's not true. Maya's locker. No, it's not here. It wasn't here before either. What? My locker. Why is it locked? Is there something I don't want to see? I don't know what the fucking code is. Order. It won't open. How do we know which order we're going in? Two, one, zero, three. Maybe? That must be it. Zero, 
312. I know what's inside. Yes. And I can't look away. Here it is. What's this letter? Is it inside the book? Remember when I said I wanted to live like a cherry blossom? To be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment, simply by letting go of life. Daring to bloom, knowing it won't last. And so falling in vivid color. I wish I could live like that. I want to experience true beauty, if only for a moment. I met someone who made me feel different. He showed me a whole new world, gave me hope. I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. I felt it with all my heart. But people didn't understand us. Didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. People... People who can't achieve beauty seek comfort in others. They fear anyone different. Hate them. Try to tear them down. I can't take much more of this. I wish you and I had... I wish you and I could run away together. Amelie. Just me and you. Maya. She was asking Amelie for help. But I just. Uh... Hid the fucking letter from her? Maya. You have everything. You're way more talented than me. So. Why? Why take Amelie from me, who acted like I wasn't even there? Amelie is my friend! She's mine! Uh, I only wanted to take her down a bit. She, she was taking Amelie away from me. She wouldn't pay attention to me. <sighs> How was I supposed to know she'd actually kill herself? <laughs> I mean... Did the letter have completely fixed how she felt? Probably not. Holy fuck, man! Maybe now we can go this way? Yes. Oh my god, brother. Ugh. 
Ooh. Whoa, motherfucker. Oh no. No, 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 no! PTSD, I'm bro. So sorry. You fucked up. What is the quick turn button again? Uh, I should probably check that after. Yeah. Go the wrong way, I feel like I went the wrong way. Oh, bitch. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Follow me. Follow me in a big circle. Too intense. Maya, I finally get it. I know what you wanted me to find. God damn. What? Doing this over again? Really big now. Oh. Even if I die, this doesn't end. 
How many times do I have to go through this? Forever. Find it. How can I get you to forgive me? Please, Maya, tell me. Why won't you say anything? It's not the anomaly in the picture anymore. It's my anomaly? The very fourth, I ended up heading to the roof of the villa. Couldn't help but think of the girl who jumped to her death last year. Actually, a lot of girls killed themselves here. All teens, supposedly. Now the place is a famous spot where people kill themselves. Looking down from the roof, I could see how high up I was. The thought of a light breeze setting me flying made me feel a little queasy. Were they not scared? What was going through their heads? Were they jumping away from something or to something? Classic Silent Hill fences with barbed wire. Silent Hill phenomenon. The suicide rate has increased around the world in a large part due to the struggles brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic, with countries still unsure how to best how best to handle the issue. These trying times have also given rise to a strange phenomenon in many areas. Those affected suddenly claim to see fog, even on fair weather days, and lose consciousness shortly after. This has come to be known as the Silent Hill Phenomenon, named after a similar event that occurred in an anonymous U.S. town. First to propose a theory explaining why this could be happening is Dr. Social Psychologist at XXX University, who had the following to say on the matter. To one who is Psychologically unstable, fog represents uncertainty and sensory illusions. When in a state of high stress, one's vision may become obscured and tunneled as if one is wandering through a dense fog or mist. Societal uncertainty or apprehension about the future manifests as fog, thus blurring the lines between illusion and reality. As time goes on, we are seeing more and more cases of the Silent Hill phenomenon. In response, Dr. X calls for a rapid rebuilding of society as well as a stronger emphasis on counseling and mental health care for the young. Okay, so this is where Silent Hill actually comes into the game. Okay. This is... Wait, me and my mom lived here. This is our living room. December 29, 2011. I finally lost touch with him. I'll never see him again. I thought I found my happily ever after, but it was all a dream. However, I haven't lost everything. I still have my children, my cute little angels who light up my life. February 10, 2012. My new man showed up to my place today with pizza. Children definitely need a father, but they still won't take to him. He looked annoyed when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. February 22, 2012. My daughter drew a picture of her family. We're smiling and holding hands. I wish she would have drawn him as well. Maybe she doesn't realize he might join our family. She's slower than other kids her age. I'm sure she'll catch up and pass him soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. I'm nothing like that heartless bitch who raised me. I won't fill my children with hate and fear. Okay, here's the classic PT. I'm giving up my life for you! Okay. 
March 7, 2012. He showed up again with a smile on his face and a pizza in his hands from the new place he was raving about. My daughter hated the pizza, though. She's extremely picky. I should probably teach her to eat things she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things I hated when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. March 22, 2012. The kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was exhausted from work and said he just wanted to relax. He makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with them. We need him for a happy life, and I need them to realize that. I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they'll finally see the light in him. April 12, 2012. He told me the banging on the closet door was making it hard for him to unwind. If they would just be quiet for a little bit, everything would be fine. What's wrong with them? He doesn't visit as much as he used to. If I don't figure something out, I may never see him again. Jesus. I know I feel really small, like I'm a small child. Everything seems really... Jesus. May 9, 2012. Everything seems to be going well now that we've been going out on dates. He was worried about my kids, so he brought them a bunch of books and toys. That should be enough to keep them occupied, right? I've been going out so much lately that I've left the place in a bit of a mess. I should clean it, but by the time I get back, I have no energy. May 25, 2012. I got contacted by Child Welfare Center. I guess some nosy bitch or asshole in my building reported hearing a child crying at night in my place. The fuck do they know? He hasn't called me much lately. Am I destined to be alone? Everyone else is out enjoying life while I'm working my ass off raising kids. Why am I the fucking bad guy? July 15, 2012. If I hadn't had children, maybe I'd be planning my summer vacation with my friends right now. Nothing matters anymore. I'm just crawling through life. I know what's going on in the closet, but I can't look. I just want to be happy. What's wrong with that? I'm done. Oh my god. Yes, we are just a small child now. Stop. Fuck, man. Miss Krista Planner, we have reached out to you repeatedly, but have yet to receive a response. We take this to mean you have no intention of remedying this issue. You are in violation of German Civil Code, Article 1631, Section 2, accordingly. Federal court has instructed us to take your children. Should you have any objections to this, please contact us as soon as possible. Frank Fisher, Ken Stop Child Welfare Center. Oh my god. Boy found dead in refrigerator. Mother arrested. August 4th, 2012. Boy was found dead today in a refrigerator in the home of his 41-year-old mother, Person A, who was arrested by local authorities for hiding the body. Person A claims to have locked her son in the closet for more than a day to punish him. And when she noticed he wasn't moving the next morning, she hid his lifeless body in the refrigerator. Investigators are conducting an autopsy to determine the cause of death. According to the investigation, Person A's daughter ran to a neighbor's house to call the police and report her mother for neglect. Detectives arrived at the house. They discovered her brother's body in the refrigerator and arrested the mother after she confessed to her crime. Jesus Christ! Uh, you just obeyed me again! You can just stay in
Why am I seeing this room here in the villa? I tried so hard to forget this place. Oh my god. Yo, bitch. Come the fuck down. Okay, 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 okay. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Get out of here, bitch! So do not go right. So it seems like this could be our mother? I could just run towards her. There seemed to be some opening on the right side. This is very cool. This classic Silent Hill shit. Yes, follow me. Oh god. Oh my god. I have no idea if I'm going the right way. Fucking room am I trying to get to? Two oh five? We'll hide in a fucking closet again? Yo. Nope. I'm seeing some light here. Oh my god, brother! Oh god! That was not cool, brother. is a bit difficult. Not sure where I'm supposed to go. When will this end? Okay, I want to find out that controls. Turn around during escape L1 or L2. Okay. Holy fuck. Nice thing is it once it starts on a path it just continues following it. Oh 
Why do I feel like it's that way? Holy fuck. Let me out of here, brother. You're into art, right? You could audit an art class. It is very fucking dark in here. Ah, oh, fuck! Okay, there's one door. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Get the fuck out of here, please. I'm back in my own fucking... Oh my god. Probably not the way I'm supposed to be going. Okay. It's not actually a quick turn button, it's a... Uh, uh, look behind button. My god, brother. Just going in circles forever? Okay, this is the way that we can't go. Okay, so we went in several circles. Um. Everyone blames me. <laughs> you just die endlessly. I don't know. Okay, so <laughs> I'm assuming we have to get the pictures because we find like three pictures or something like that. Oh god. Okay. So there are... There's a door right back there I never noticed. 
Okay, so I don't know if the pictures are in the I can't fucking see where I'm at right now. Oh god. I don't know if they're in these rooms. Okay, I feel like there's a picture around here somewhere. Oh, right here. There we go. Okay, so the phone, my phone makes a weird noise when I'm near a picture. It's like a hissing sound or something. around here somewhere. Why is it so dark all of a sudden? Okay. Thought there would have been a photo in there. A photo in there. Twelve is my room. Okay. Ah, damn it. Trying to remember where the fucking pictures are. Okay, so that's the one that we've already done. Oh god. It's so close to me right now. Like there should be a picture around here somewhere. I keep seeing her face. God. I get fucked. Okay, this is our apartment again. Okay, we need to calm the fuck down and just focus on getting Oh, god damn! Yes, calm down, exactly. That is not how you calm down. That is how you shit yourself. What are you hiding inside? Okay. Okay. Follow me this way, then. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you don't. You, 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 get fucked. How 
the fuck did you get in here? Bro. Okay, we've got two good pictures so far. We are not doing great. We are not doing very well. Trying to pay attention to what's going on on the phone. Oh god, we are back in our own apartment. And I think we still need several photos, maybe? I don't know. How many photos are there? Yo, motherfuckers. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. How many fucking things are there? God damn it. Oh my god. Yo, motherfucker. I think we already got this one. The fucker, get out of here, bro. There are two more. Okay. I'm assuming that means there's two more. God, I don't know where the fuck he is. Oh god. Here's something. Hmm? What's that? Oh, you like what you see? Oh God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. 
more? Oh my god. Fucking palms are so sweaty. No, 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 no. This is not where we want to be. I've already been here. Oh god. Might make it easier if I had my brightness turned up a little bit. Yo, okay. Is there actually a way out over there? This one. Oh God. Okay. Not two oh seven. Not two oh nine. Two oh nine's the fucking locker room again. number are you? You don't have a number. Excellent. Okay. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Throw one? Two oh one. Might be. Might not be. Doesn't seem to be. No, it's not two oh one. I can't fucking see anything, bro. Okay, the suitcase is where we found a photo. We did find a photo there. Oh my god. Okay, keep going in circles here. Whoa! How was that bullshit? Popped out of nowhere. Hey, 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 hey. You're way too hard on yourself. Okay, 
Okay. Okay. It's too fucking intense. It's too much. Am I gonna be alone forever? Yes, probably. Man, that was fucking too much. February 21st, I've been really absorbed in my work lately. I decided to paint the girls who jumped off the villa roof. I'd like to think they left this place for something better. I think I might finally be free of my despair because I've never felt this inspired. I'm going to put every last bit of myself into this piece. March 4th. My roof piece is almost done. It might actually be my crowning achievement. But once this is done, then what? Do I have it in me to come up with something even better? How much longer can I enjoy the fame and praise I get now? Is there despair and disappointment waiting for me right around the corner? The sadness that gripped me before has clawed its way back into my mind. I guess it was always there. Who knows how often it will show up. The thought makes my skin crawl. Maybe I should just end things while I'm still happy. Go out on a good note. I wish I could talk to someone about all this. March 13, 2022. At approximately 1 p.m. on the 12th, popular graffiti artist CB Maya Akko Hindenburg was found collapsed on the grounds of an apartment building in Kettenstadt. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. The death of the 18-year-old girl comes as a shock to not only local community members, but also to those who were familiar with her work. Authorities believe the cause of death may be suicide, but given her popularity and the lack of warning signs to her peers, they have not ruled out foul play and are proceeding with a full-scale investigation. Wait. She killed herself. We're stuck in Silent Hill. And that means I've been here this whole time. What'll it take for you to forgive me? Please, end this. Just let me die. <laughs> Is this... inside of girls their impulses their urges what are you hiding inside don't worry about what people think be proud so she did notice me February 21st. Oh, we've already done that one. I was so happy when my mom liked the first picture I drew.
you actually noticed me. I never thought you would. Only... What should I do? Oof. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. But I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For those I love, and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward and never look back to 18-year-old me. God damn. <laughs> that was pretty fucking good. Um, I don't, I don't really understand why there seems to be some pretty negative reviews about the game. Um, I mean, sure, the dialogue is hit and miss at times, but I think it's half decent. It's a moving day. Oh it feels kind of scary leaving my hometown, but I'll be fine. I have my best friend with me. Loneliness 
Um, yes, I was just going to say that um, the theme, uh, the actual story and the meaning behind it is, is very meaningful. And um, I mean, maybe some people won't, won't understand if uh, they never gone through this sort of thing so I thought it was really fucking good um, some of the chase scenes were uh, a little bit crazy definitely got me on the edge of my seat um, soundtrack is very good um, so yeah turns out that everybody was indeed real um, although I think this is I'm trying to think back. I haven't played any Silent Hill games for quite some time. Um, I don't remember how many actually make it out of Silent Hill in the games. Maybe they all do, or maybe they're all. There's always a ending where you can get out of Silent Hill. I don't remember. So it's interesting to see that we we ended up getting out of Silent Hill or the Silent Hill phenomena. I guess they're calling it now. Basically, it's. They're saying that it's stretched beyond the actual town. And people can experience this uh, phenomenon outside, anywhere, pretty much. So, that's cool. Allows them to kind of go in a different direction. So, anyways. I thought the game was really good. It is short. It's basically two hours. Maybe just over two hours. Um, reading all the scripts and stuff like that. Or all the notes that you find. Um, but yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, the episode. I know it is a long one, but uh, hopefully you still enjoyed it. Please make sure to leave, leave a like if you did. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, and make sure you hit subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future episodes. And um, if anybody out there is having difficulty, um, I urge you to get help. Uh, I have been there, and if you just need somebody to talk to, uh, you guys can always hit me up in the comments section. Uh, I am always around. I will respond to all of my messages. So if you just need somebody to vent to, I am around. As always, guys, I appreciate the support. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next one.